Hi guys, it's just Anna, and today is a book review. Book review, book review, book review, book review. I recently read Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, and I, that book, man, that book, I just, I just can't, I just can't. First, I'm going to do the non-spoilery part, then I'm going to go into the spoilers. So I'll let you know before time. Here we go. First of all, I thought this book was absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so relatable. I love how Rainbow Rowell writes. It's my first book by her, and it's a good one to start off with, definitely. I really recommend it. I thought Eleanor was such a unique character, and Park was like your typical Asian guy. I think everyone has one of those in their high school. At least I hope they do because they're freaking awesome and everyone should have Asian people in their, high school, in their high school because I had them and they were awesome. So that's why I thought it was so realistic because Eleanor wasn't your typical skinny, brunette, shy girl. She was really unique and I really liked that about her and that's what made me relate to her a lot more and Park was absolutely so charming and realistic. And basically this book is about a love story between two misfits and I thought it was unbelievably cute and adorable. Usually I like love stories that are a bit more risky and like sexy, but this one was just down to earth and cute and it was so worth reading because it melted my heart, like it melted it to the ground and I had to like pick up like my melted heart and try to shape it up again. While I was reading this my face hurt, like it, it hurt so much from smiling. I love when a book does that to you. I love what books do to you. They change your feelings and make you all look giddy inside and my face still hurts from smiling about this book. I love how Rainbow Rowell can write about teenagers and even though she's a teenager she can really she knows how to write about them because there's a lot of writers that can't write about teenagers and they make them look really different from what they actually are so Rainbow Rowell does a really good job at portraying like teenagers. That's characteristic that makes me want to read the rest of her books like Fangirl, Fangirl Attachments, Landline, all those books that I'm going to be reading now because Rainbow Rowell has touched my heart. Just all the tiny gestures in this book made me melt. That's basically what I thought about the book. So if you haven't read the book, I recommend you leaving right now because I'm going to go into the spoilery section where I talk more in depth of the parts in the books that I like. So goodbye. If you haven't read it, go read it. Go read it. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. Bye. Bye. Hello! Okay, spoiler. So, there were so many parts in this book that I absolutely loved. I loved how of them like not meeting each other and and talking about their families and how Eleanor's family was so like misleading and so horrible and I just felt so sorry for her. I just wanted to kill her stepdad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I just hated him so much. I don't know her mother, I just wanted to knock some sense into her and her little brothers and sisters as well. Like I felt so bad for her and Instead, like, Park, he has this amazing family that will stand by him, whatever, like, anything. And I love how Rainbow Rowell, like, made Park's mom um, with the accent because that made it much more realistic. Because her mom does, like, Asian moms do talk like that. She talks, like, with an accent. I thought that was so perfect because it made him more realistic. And his dad also, his dad is so... Yes, he's harsh, but he's so supportive and he, he just wants the best for him. The way the romance built up was my favorite thing of this book because at first, like in the bus and they were they didn't talk to each other. And then how he started reading the comic books slower so she could read over his shoulder. That killed me. That killed me right there. When he when he realized that she was reading his comic books, he started reading slower for her. And I just can't I can't with that, I can't, That that's what made me smile the most and then when he started bringing her comic books and then and then they held, when they held hands for the first time, that was, like, I, I, I slid off my bed and like crumbled. When Park knocked on her door at her house and they went to the steps and read comic books together, every little gesture, every little thing in this book just killed me, killed me. There's one part in this book that I absolutely love. It's when, when Eleanor asks him, why do you love me? And he's like, I don't love you, I need you. And <sighs> fangirling really hard right now. And Eleanor was so stubborn because she didn't feel good enough. And I understand her. She didn't feel good enough and she didn't um, understand why Park loved her, needed her, wanted to be with her because she always felt like an outcast and 
uh, she was so stubborn and sometimes I just want to knock her in the head and be like, he loves you, go with it, go, go with him. But she just left, she would just leave at every single moment, every little opportunity of escape, she took it and that's what really got me upset. But overall I just loved it and there was a lot of character development with Eleanor. She did start realizing a lot more that she was worth it and she did deserve him. The one thing that really annoyed me about this book is the end, of course, the end. How could you end it like that, Rainbow Rail? How could you end it like that? I mean, they do end up together and just, uh, her not writing him back and he helped you and then you don't write back? Like, what the heck? You don't even read the letters that he's sending you. And it just, ugh, it just frustrated me so much. I wanted her to just jump into his arms and be forever with him together and it ended off so horrible and it crushed my heart but I still gave it a 5 out of 5 stars because I loved the book in general so if you read the book please comment below and tell me every little part of the book that you loved no spoilers please do not put any spoilers down there because you know we don't want people to be spoiled I hope you enjoyed this review I'll see you next time bye I just can't it's too much for me I will be talking to you about uh, and just every little gesture in this thing with you, baby.